Well, hello everyone, this is the Balkan Guy, and I want to wish all of you a very, very happy new year. We are stepping into 2024, and as we are stepping into 2024, we're also stepping into the Eurovision 2024 season, and y'all, the excitement is real. We are hyping up, national finals are starting, we are getting songs, and it's just like, it's been so much, and like my brain has been all over the place, uh, but I just wanted to share my excitement with you guys, and as we are talking about that it appears that we might have the poland song for eurovision 2024 i couldn't really like I, a lot of people told me to react to this song a lot of people told me this is gonna be the song most likely it's not confirmed yet but it's looking like this is gonna be the song and from what i can see there is a live performance of the song being performed uh, on tvp at uh, the tvp New Year's event, but I was surprised like if it got performed at that event, why didn't they also announce it at that event? That's it. I don't know. <laughs> so this might be the Polish representative. I guess we're gonna have to listen to the song, see the performance, and then decide if I think it should be <laughs> the representative. Or maybe it's already decided. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but we have Justynia, Justyna. Stetskowska, okay, Justina Stetskowska, with a song Witcher Tarahoro. Okay, that sounds like a really cool name. It sounds like like the TV show Witcher, which I love. Uh, so this should be something interesting. I mean, it's probably gonna be something like super, like intense, like a Witcher Tarahoro. That sounds like mystic. So before I start talking uh, any further, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Because I always, always appreciate that. And let's just go ahead and get into the song and this performance and see what Poland might have for us this year in Eurovision. Ooh, let's go. I loved Poland last year. Solo was my shit. Play. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I knew it was going to be this kind of vibe. It's like super mysterious. Okay. We got choreo going on. Oh, the production! Shit! Okay. She has so much power to her. The vocals are a bit shaky. I think this needs better backing vocalists. But this is power- What? What? What was that? Yaga Daga da! What is happening here? Hey! It's a banger! Oh! Hey! Hey! Get it! Get it! Get it! Hey! Oh, this is good! Oh! Shit! Oh! This is good! She has so much power. This would be so good on the Eurovision stage. Like seriously, this would kill it. The fire. The way she's bringing you, the song is just so good. Oh, the, it's so dramatic. And the Yaga Naga that kills me. It's so good. Yaga Yaga Dada. Hell yeah! Hey! Okay, where is this gonna take us? I love that there's like choreo going on, she's got dancers. She's like bringing it! She's giving it all! Woo! Let's go, Justina! Hey! 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 Oh, this ending, y'all, oh, this is good, oh, shit, I'm, a what, oh, the crap, what is happening, this is so good, Yo! 
<laughs> this is unreal. Oh, vocals! Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What did I just watch? <laughs> From the choreo to the song. Oh my god, the song was so good. The instrumental was so powerful, dramatic, mysterious, witchy. It was giving everything it needed to give. The vocals were a bit shaky, but like, you can also see that this is not like um, TV. Like, I don't know if the vocals were connected to like... I, I don't know. I don't think this was proper uh, audio mixing right here. That's what I mean. And I think she needs some better backing vocals. But like, this was so good. Like, this is top Eurovision top 10 for sure. Like, for sure. And with the choreo and with the visuals and everything. And we know Poland knows how to stage things. I mean, look at last year. So with this could be a cont like contestant to win. Like, Poland. I think this is the one. I mean, I don't know who else is competing and what's happening here, but, like, this is the one. <laughs> like, pick this. We we need this from Poland in Eurovision. That's that, that's all I'm going to say. Like, that that's all I want. I, <laughs> she just got me so shook. Everything about that was so good, especially the ending. Like... I, something that, like, you guys know if you've been following me for a long time, I need the song to be a journey. For me, like, I love it when a song starts somewhere and then takes me somewhere else. You know, like, you know, for me to feel like I'm actually, like, experiencing something, going through an adventure with the song. This song is exactly that. From the first second, it draws you in, and it's dramatic, and then brings it back, and it's dramatic, and then it's like an explosion. And this is just excellent. And for Eurovision... Like, if we're talking specifically for Eurovision, this is perfect. This is, this would be a competitor to win. If, like, executed well with the performance and the vocals, this would be a competitor to win. Like, this would, like, nail the televote. I'm only, like, concerned how the juries would react to this. But, like, who cares? This is so good. Poland, this is the one. I really, really hope this is the Poland song for Eurovision because this is excellent. Oh my lord. Oof. I need me some water after this. Like, damn. <laughs> I really need some water. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that is it for my reaction. Like, honestly, I'm. Uh, I knew there was hype about this song and a lot of people wanted me to react to it, but I didn't know what to expect. And this just delivered everything. Like, this, this, if this is the Polish song, this would be one of my favorites this year. I can already say it. Like, this is straight up my alley. I love witchy anything. I love bangers. This is combining so many things that I love. So, yeah, this, this is the one. <laughs> Poland, if you want my support and if you want to do well in Eurovision, this is the one. Uh, but that is it when it comes to my reaction to the, maybe, Poland song for Eurovision 2024. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about it? Do you think this would do well? <laughs> do you like it as much as I do? Make sure to also like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I'll be reacting to all the Eurovision songs and uh, also national finals. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, because I always, always appreciate that. What can you find there on Instagram? Honestly, it is the hub of the gym selfies. So if you're into some gym selfies, um, maybe like this one, then you you, you want to go ahead and follow me there. <laughs> on Twitter, I tweet about Eurovision. So if you want to hear more Eurovision opinions, you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter and TikTok. I honestly post just some dumb stuff. If you're into that, you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.